Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena channel. So today we are going to see the video which explains you how to replace the faulty edge node with a new NSXT edge node, okay, in, a, in an existing edge cluster. So in my scenario, I have a uh, tier 0 gateway which is obviously associated with an edge cluster for a uh, north-south connectivity. So there are some scenarios, you know, like one of the edge node becomes faulty. So in my, uh, even in my real time production infrastructure, we see like what are the traffic uh, which is going via one particular edge node. They are losing packets and TCPs were not working. So I work with the support and um, they uh, ask me to, uh, you know, like replace one of the edge node. This could be one of the real time um, troubleshooting scenario. So I have an edge cluster here called edge cluster 01. Mm, there are two members of the edge cluster, which is currently edge node 1A and 2a okay and uh, in the node let's go back to the edge node i have also deployed a new edge node called 3a i'm going to replace a 3a with 2a because in our case like uh, 0 2a is a faulty node okay so the 0 3a should have an exact configuration like uh, 0 2a as well the existing faulty node so let's open the configuration of um, edge node 2 so I have a one switch associated and I have a true transport zone which is like overlay and VLAN An uplink profile is edge uplink and um, there is an IP pool which is used and I also have edge trunk A and edge trunk P which is an uplink interface for the edge nodes. Let's open up the edge node 3 and validate that the configuration is exactly same like the existing edge node which is edge node 2. So let's open that. Okay, so now I have a two transport zone, VLAN, TZ, and uh, uplink profile. And um, okay, so I have a uplink trunk A and trunk B. One more thing is like if you have an existing edge node which is uh, up and running, then we cannot use the same IP addresses. So that's and same host name. That's why like, you know, like IP addresses are different between edge node 2 and 3. If you don't have an existing edge node, if you want to add a cluster then um, you know like if you, if you deleted an existing edge node and if you want to replace that in the cluster that is fine to use on same IP address so in that case so before replacing we have to put on a faulty edge node into an NSX maintenance mode just select under actions you see NSX maintenance mode so it is entering into the NSX maintenance mode which is on edge node 2 right so in some time you will see the node status will become down and all the tunnels will go down as well and the existing edge node will be in the degraded set that is absolutely fine because um, it don't have its HA pair member right so that's why it is showing as a degraded status so now you see that uh, there were two tunnels in this edge um, and both were down and um, the status is uh, also down and the first node become a degraded that is fine the edge node 2 is still entering into the nsx maintenance mode yeah it entered now so you can see the status of um, you know like configuration state of particular edge so i'm going to replace edge node 3a with 2a okay so to replace go to the edge cluster okay under the action select the edge cluster one under the actions select the option replace edge cluster member okay so when you click on that, it will give the option to select two different edges. So it also says put uh, the faulty node in, uh, you know, like NSX maintenance mode. We have already done it. So select uh, edge node 2A, which is a faulty node in our case. We are going to replace edge node 2A with edge node 3A here, right? Because it gives other option. I also have an another edge node. That's why it shows two edge nodes in the option. Click on save. So it's going to replace the particular edge node. So when you click on the edge cluster, now the new node members are like 1A and 3A, right? The 2A has been removed from the edge cluster. We will also see the status will become uh, up in some time. Like, yeah, so the tunnels are up and uh, node status is up. So let's validate uh, the status of the tier zero gateway as well, because obviously the purpose of this edge cluster is to associate with the tier zero for an, uh, a north-south connectivity, right? So the tunnels are up uh, because it's active active. So it has a uh, different uh, tunnel numbers between the edge nodes. So I selected tier zero edge gateway and status is up. 
uh, everything is green so in this video we have seen the procedure to replace your faulty nsxt edge node with a new node so if you uh, you know want to use the same name then we have to deploy an additional uh, edge called a 02 and replace again with the 03 with the two if you wanted to use the same edge node name something like that okay so this is a short video thanks for watching uh, kindly support me and uh, subscribe my channel uh, thanks for your time